Hello, and today we're going to be painting up one of these lion statuettes. As you can see here, so that's the unfinished raw concrete cast, which we casted last year, and some of you might have seen when we casted these up. And um, we're going to turn it into one of these, which is like a copper patina effect. So we're using metallic copper paint with a mixed up acrylic paint color of a kind of patinaed green. So this cast here was one of the casts that had a few more air bubbles in, so it sort of adds to the effect of a corrosive look. So let's get on with it. Right, so here we are. So we've got the lion statuette there, statuette. I'll try and speak properly in this video. I tend to get me words mixed up and all over the place. So we got our kit there, water, brushes, paint, and a jar to mix up our paint into. So we've got some green there sap green in this case and we're gonna add some white and that'll give us our undercoat of our patina color our copper patina color which is like an oxidization of course of the copper but uh, we're trying to replicate that here so just mixing that up as you can see adding some water so we want it relatively fluid and um, once you've mixed that up we'll uh, apply that to the concrete statuette I think what I'll do in the future with these videos, because a lot of these videos are quite self-explanatory, and um, I have uh, made quite a few of these painting videos now, and I expect quite a few people have watched them, or I should say I expect quite a few people that are on the channel that are interested in this type of thing have watched the videos, if you know what I mean. I get my words mixed up again. So uh, I think what I'll do in the future, maybe... Um, and let me know if you might prefer this is to stop narrating the videos and just set the video to music and I like um, demonstrate things on the video so I can just show you the brush that I'm using and the paint and the uh, process on the video like mixing up the paint and all that type of thing and just set it to music and that's it and then you don't have to listen to my stupid talking so anyway, back to the video. So we've put our undercoat on there. Um, we'll let that dry. We'll put two coats of paint. Although, actually, I wish I'd sort of put just one coat on because it was more blotchy and it gives that sort of um, uneven, perhaps representing more of a natural patina. So anyway, I put two coats on in this video anyway and we had more of a solid colour. And um, that was that. So anyway, we let that dry, and in the next process, and we let that dry overnight as well, as always. Um, so we don't want to, so we don't scrape any paint off. There's Till saying hello, hello, meow. And uh, so yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so we let that dry overnight, so you, so that when you apply the next layer on, you don't take the paint away from the concrete. And we're going to use the trusty old dry brushing technique to apply. A dry brushed layer of um, copper metallic paint so this is a nice relaxing part so we're stirring our paint and that stirring the paint there and got our bigger brush there and um, if you're not familiar with dry brushing there's uh, plenty of dry brushing videos on the channel and all over YouTube as well from other people that have made videos about dry brushing so as you can see there, just dusting on the paint lightly and uh, you don't want to go too heavy-handed because if you put too much paint on it's um, it's there isn't it? and then you have to start all over again and do your bits and pieces so um, it's wiser to apply your layers lightly and you can just build up on that to uh, get to your preferred look and that's pretty much it so I go around the um, statuette there just a couple of times until I get to the point where um, I think it's okay and looks good or good in my eye and then it's job done so we just let that dry and you can seal that um, after the whole piece has dried so there we are a lion statuette in a faux copper patina effect 
I think it looks relatively authentic. You could almost think that it was made of copper. Of course, with this cast, this was one of the casts that uh, came out uh, with a few air bubbles in. So that kind of adds to that uh, oxidization effect. So there we are. One copper patinaed lion statuette made from concrete. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll have some more painting videos coming up soon as well, over the next month or two. So there we are. Thanks for watching. See you soon and over and out for now.